number one of Noventus Credit Union Late Model Racing. Starting on the pole out of Headingley, Manitoba, he drives the Direct Auto Parts Winnipeg Engine and Transmission 71L. This is Leo Felius and outside. In another 71 out of Grant Point, Manitoba, this is the Fawcett Auto Body 71 of Rick Fawcett. Row two inside in the third starting position out of Lorette, Manitoba is the Dabs Repair 8 of Kevin Sexton. Outside in the Winnipeg Dodge exclusive bus lines, number nine is Walt Morris and rounding out the field in the Viert Landscaping 88 is Paul Viert out of Winnipeg. Waving the green flag from Greenland Equipment, John Fox. Nice job, John, awesome. Now we got a backup. Leo loops it in turn number one and two and continues and loops it again. Well, a lot of throttle's good when you're going in a straight line. Leo to the bottom of the racetrack now. These are your Noventus Credit Union late models. Fawcett battling with Sexton in the eighth. Sexton loves to the bottom of the racetrack here and trying to get underneath the inland glass Fawcett Auto Body 71 of Rick Fawcett. Now Felius in the 71L gets going. He is going to be a lap down here shortly. Great racing up front. Paul Beard in third. Fourth is the Winnipeg Dodge. Number nine, that is Walt Morris. City FM 9 currently running fourth. Sexton now takes the lead underneath the 71 of Rick Fawcett out of Grand Point, Manitoba. Fawcett in the Fawcett Auto Body. Inland glass number 71 is now second, but he's working outside of Kevin Sexton in the Dabs repair number eight. Paul Veert right there as well in the Veert landscaping case number 88. Great racing up front here in your Noventus Credit Union late models. Three laps to go. Veert getting right in front of the 71 down the back straightaway. A nice job on the inside. Walking in progress of Rick Fawcett. The Gusta Sod Farm 88 with a great pass on the back shoot. Veert moves to the second spot. So what is the 8 of Sexton, the 88 of Veert, and the 71 of Fawcett? Those are your top three. Walt Morris a ways back in the Winnipeg Dodge number nine. And now your leader's going through lap traffic. That is the direct auto parts. Winnipeg engine and transmission 71L of Leo Felius. Beert now in the 88 car trying to get by Felius, and he does. But does Beard have the time to strike on the eight of Kevin Sexton? Likely not, Sexton. Silky smooth out of four, your winner. The champion towing down three pair number eight of Kevin Sexton, adding yet another race win to his repertoire. The Gusta Sard Farms, number 88 in the second spot, and the 71 of Fawcett unofficially third in the Fawcett Auto Body inland glass entry. Those are your top three unofficially. Well, Keystone Western, your locally owned and operated transportation company, specializes in logistic solutions for over 25 years. 35 years, no, 25. Keystone Western's difference is their family attitude. Combined with providing their clients with the highest standards of customer service, Keystone is passionate about people and building winning relationships with their employees, customers, and community. Keystone Western, your driving force. Noventus Credit Union late models. Getting ready to roll for heat number two, the superior asphalt paving truck. Bringing, I don't know where that's going. Going to pave someone's driveway, I suppose. Here's the lineup for Heat 1, a racing veteran of some 40-some years. There's about 100 years' experience in this heat race. Les Pritchard on the pole in the one car from Carmen. To his outside, Bill Mooney in the OMG's Winnipeg Hearing Center's number two. Inside row two, another guy that's raced for about, I don't know, almost 40 years. Mike Balkin in the Ends Brothers 10. To his outside, Shane Edgington. 
in the four, the sponsored by General Signs and Performance Auto, and on the back in the Martin's Diesel Service 55, this is Mike Martin from Steinbeck. All right, here we go with your Noventus Credit Union late models. They are rolling out of the pits. Well, you just saw a veteran driver win the last race and several veteran drivers competing here in heat number two of the Noventus Credit Union late models. The 10 of Mike Balkan, over 30 track championships to his credit, rolling on the speedway in turn number three. That is a black diamond chassis built in Louisiana. Of course, the two of Bill Mooney, uh, masters built, Sponsored by Winnipeg Hearing Centers and McPhillips Toyota. Les Pritchard, a multi-year racing veteran, I would guess probably 40 years now. Probably at least 40. He's out of the rolling Manitoba area. The number four did a great job last week here at Red River Co-op Speedway. Actually, it wasn't last week. It was, it was Monday. It was four days ago. That is Shane Edgington driving that car. Number four, of course, that car originates out of the United States. And... That is his ride for the 2016 season. So that young driver doing a great job on our opener here at Red River Co-op Speedway on Monday in the Noventus Credit Union late model division. All right, so Mike Balkan scheduled to start inside of row two. Les Pritchard, I believe, has given up that spot. That's my guess. Pritchard was scheduled to start on the pole. And if the pole sitter drops out, the entire roll moves up. So I think that's what's happening here. I'm going to guess Les Pritchard. And he is indeed. So Mike Balkan, well, that's a pretty good spot for Mike Balkan. Originally starting inside of row two. Pritchard dropping back to the back in the number one. So Mike Balkan in the 10 car will go back to the pole position, or up to the pole position, rather. Here we go. Mike Balkan to the early lead in the 10 car. Bill Mooney on the outside in the McPhillips Toyota Winnipeg Hearing Centers number two. Look at him get on the throttle. Great racing into turn three and four. The OMG's number two is on the move. Here comes Mike Martin as well. Mike Martin in the Reimer overhead doors. Martin Diesel, Penner International 55. Edgington right there as well in the four car. Great racing in your Noventus Credit Union late model division. Well, Mike Balkan now beginning to run the string out on the field here in heat number two of the Noventus Credit Union late model division. Balkan, of course, sponsored by Evans Brothers and Silmac out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ooh, keep your eyes on the four car of Shane Edgington. That car working tremendously well on the bottom of the racetrack. Edgington in a victory by Moyer chassis, and look at that thing stick to the bottom of the racetrack. He's sponsored by True North Motors and trying to get around the two of Bill Mooney on the inside. That four car is sticking, but Mooney maintaining his speed in the Winnipeg Hearing Center's McPhillips Toyota number two. Great battle between the two and the four down the back chute, and they are keeping it clean, racing door to door, each driver with a preferred line. But right now, the General Signs Winnipeg Elevator True North Motors 4 car has Mooney for the second spot. Mooney now dives to the inside, the four off the back straight. Mooney gets the second spot back. The number two in second spot. White flag for your leader. Well, what a great battle throughout this race by the Winnipeg Hearing Center, OMG, McPhillips Toyota number two, and the True North number four. 
Those drivers have gone at it profusely, but your winner's gonna be Vulcan in the Ems Brothers Silmac 10. Second spot is gonna go to the Winnipeg Hearing Center's Curtis Carpets 2. That is Bill Mooney in the Masters belt. And the four car will finish third. That none other than Shane Edgington, Monday's feature winner in your Noventus Credit Union late model division. Coming up next, B-Mods.